Hey y'all, this is Vic. Hey, welcome to my channel. I appreciate it. Hey, I hope everybody's getting ready for Christmas uh, and everybody's still happy. Uh, I know I'm enjoying it this year. Uh, with the exception of my son, he's going over to New Orleans with his girlfriend to do uh, Christmas, so they'll be back at a later date. But that's going to give me time to make uh, GG a, uh, a herb garden. So uh, I went and picked up some lumber and uh, I've supposed to have made one supposed to made it back in the summer and, and i didn't so uh anyways hopefully i'll surprise her and catch some video of it and i'll show that too at the end if i do that i'm not going to video a lot of the process of it i'm going to try to enjoy it and uh i've already made a, a couple of things on wood lathe some gnomes uh of course y'all probably know that i did that probably a lot of people you know probably know that a lot of people got uh stuff off the wood lathe so uh if my wife will let it go, she she likes to keep it. So, <laughs> anyways, hey, hope y'all are having a good one, and hope you enjoy this. Thank y'all so much. All right, I'm attempting to make a herb planter. These are uh, deck boards, 12 foot, and I got them cut. Got nine foot here. Then the tail ends of them there is a little over three feet, like three foot and a quarter. Got two by four ripped down the middle. And I got me some dog ear fence the boards I'm going to use for the bottom. Uh, put this together with me some old scrap 2x4s I found in the old uh, flea, uh, what is it, uh, poor man's flea market, yeah. And uh, I'm going to cut them up for some legs and we're going to get some nine foot by three foot uh, herb planter. So uh, we'll put it all together here shortly. All right, so I got my feet cut out or legs going 34 inches uh, four of them will put two in the middle that won't come up through the back so uh, 34 inches got them carved out whittled on them a little bit we're coming together getting it together all right so I finally got it all pieced together There's a little copper girl Put me a little, little holes here for our tools. And then these are all loose so they can slide and we'll fill it with, uh, uh, what is it, uh, cloth that, uh, the old, you know, the old black stuff uh, was put in here. And then that way it'll drain too so these all stay, you know, freely. They won't be secured. Other than that, not too bad, I don't think. I think she's going to like it. We'll let you know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's real cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You're yeah, that's a race bed. That's you, awesome. You'll be able to plant us some stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're going to plant some stuff. That's awesome. Dang, hey, you made this too? Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's really cool. You're welcome. Yeah, that's awesome. Shoot. All right, hey. Well, she liked it. That was a good thing. Uh, made me feel good that she did. Uh, she's a sweet girl. I'm not sure that she would say she didn't like it. So we'll see what kind of stuff she grows for us. Maybe we'll get some good vittles out of the deal. And uh, I'm just glad they're back safe. And, uh, and I hope you all had a good Merry Christmas. Uh, my wife got me this big Vic Blue uh, Carhartt uh, sweatshirt. I'm enjoying it. It's a little cool here this morning. It's 34. It was 60-something yesterday. So... Uh, Got me a new lid. Don't know that uh, I'll be able to uh, not wear my my old one, but uh, until I get it broke in. But maybe I will this summer. I'll probably come in real handy. Anyways, hey, thank y'all all so much, and uh, wish y'all nothing but the best in the upcoming year. Y'all take care and have a good one. Thank y'all so much.